Hello everyone, Vince here and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remote control a computer with a service called LogMeIn. LogMeIn basically allows you to remote control a computer within your internet browser. Very simple. And the cost? Free. It's free. And there's no trials, no tribulations. Get it? Trials and tribulations. There's no trials so it's free and you get to have it free for the rest of time or until LogMeIn shuts down which isn't going to happen anytime soon. So basically I'm going to be showing you how to remote control your computer or a computer or your friend's computer or your aunt's computer or your grandma's computer using LogMeIn. Now, who is LogMeIn for? Well, it could be for yourself. Just install LogMeIn on your desktop and then when you're out and about on your laptop, you can access your desktop through LogMeIn in your internet browser. And then you can access your files, your pictures and all that remotely. Now. It could also be for people who need help. So let's just say your aunt needs help on a regular basis with her computer. Like I get these calls all the time from people that say, Vince, how do I uninstall something? Vince, tell me how to do this on my computer. You want to know what I do? I install LogMeIn on the computer with my account. And whenever they need help, I could just log into my LogMeIn account and I can access the computer. Basically, you can install it on other people's computer if they need help regularly from you. Now. The LogMeIn process is fairly, fairly simple. Let's start off by going to LogMeIn.com. You're going to have to go to Products, and under Products, click on LogMeIn Free. Click on Download PC Version if you're on a PC, or Download Mac Version if you're on a Mac. I'm going to be clicking on Download PC Version since I'm running on Windows 7. Type in an email address, your email address, a valid one, and then type in a password, choose your country, and apparently my password didn't match. Okay, and then it asks you, do you plan to use LogMeIn for IT support? Either choose yes or no. And if you want LogMeIn to send you updates via subscription to your email address, leave this checked. If not, uncheck it. Click on continue. Enter in your first name, your last name, and then you're going to have to enter in a company name. Now, if you don't own a company, just type in your first and last name. Select your state and province, and then type in a phone number. Don't worry, LogMeIn doesn't sell your information. Who are you primarily supporting? I'm going to be choosing friends and family members. And how many computers would you like to access remotely? I'm going to put five to nine. Okay, so after you create your LogMeIn account, you're going to have to check your email to verify that you signed up for the account. Okay, so now I'm on my email. And then this email will pop up by LogMeIn. And then we'll say, to verify your account, simply click this link or copy and paste it to your browser. And now I'm all verified. So if I log out, and if I go to logmein.com, I can simply just log in through the homepage. Once you completed the sign up process and everything's all good, your email's verified, you logged in successfully, etc., etc., it'll take you to your login page and it will take you directly to your My Computers tab. Now you're going to have to install the LogMeIn client to the computers that you want to remote control. Now, like I said in the beginning of this video, you can install it on your computer so you can access your computer from another computer or you can install LogMeIn on your friend's computer so whenever they need help, you can remote control their computer. I'm gonna be taking you through the process of how to add a computer with LogMeIn. Click on Add This Computer, and then you're going to have to download and install the LogMeIn Remote Access software. Click on Download Now. I'm running on Google Chrome, so click on Run if you're on another browser, or click on Save if you're on Google Chrome. Okay, so now I'm gonna be opening up the application that I just downloaded, the LogMeIn setup file, and now I'm going to click on Run. Okay, so now we're all ready to install LogMeIn. Click on Next. Click on I Agree. Choose Typical. Click on Next. And then you're going to have to enter in a description for your PC. Vince's Home Desktop. Okay, so now click on Next. Now, if you're like me and don't have a password enabled on boot up, on your computer, you're going to have to enter in a computer access code. And basically what this computer access code is, it basically, whenever you want to remote control your computer, you're going to have to enter in the computer access code because you didn't have a password enabled on boot up when you turn on your computer. Now, if you enable the password on boot up when you turn on your computer, you're going to have to log in with the username and password of your Windows boot up when you boot up your computer. So I'm just going to be entering a computer access code, make it different from your LogMeIn password. Click on Next. 
And then you're going to have to install LogMeIn. So click on next. So UAC just popped up, click on yes. Okay, so now the installation will make the monitor turn black for a second. This is normal, so don't worry. And it just flickered for me, it flickered black for a second. It's basically just installing the LogMeIn remote control client and it's that easy. Setup is now completed. So click on finish. So now LogMeIn is all installed. And the subscription for me, they enabled it to be LogMeIn Pro 2 Trial. So we want it to be LogMeIn Free. So what we need to do is switch account or subscription. UAC will pop up, just click on yes. Sign into your LogMeIn account. Once you log into your account, this window will pop up. It will show a little section for available subscriptions. Click on the little blank box and click on LogMeIn Free. And you will have LogMeIn Free until March 15th. 2020. That's 10 years away from the time I'm recording this video. Choose that. Click on restart LogMeIn now if it's not checked. If it is checked, leave it alone. Click on finish. And it will restart LogMeIn. Okay, so now we have LogMeIn free since we switched our subscription from LogMeIn Pro to LogMeIn free. Okay, so this is where the fun happens. Since you installed the LogMeIn client on the computer, you can now remote control that computer with another computer. But for demonstration purposes, I'm going to remote control my computer from my computer. So let's try it right now. So go to your favorite internet browser. It doesn't matter what it is, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Opera, or in my case, Chrome. Go to LogMeIn.com. Click on account access if you're already logged in. If not, log in. And then click on my computers. And as you see here, my computer is all set to go. If it's online, the screen will be blue. And you can click on remote control. If it's offline, it won't give you the option to remote control. So basically, if you want to remote control a computer, you must have an internet connection to that computer. And that computer must be on. So now I'm going to be clicking on remote control. Okay, so now this screen will pop up. Now remember during installation of the LogMeIn client a few minutes ago, I had to input a computer access code because I didn't require a password for when I boot up Windows? Well, here is where you enter in the computer access code. It's an extra layer of security of accessing and remote controlling a computer. Now, if your computer is different and requires a password for boot up, you're going to have to enter in your username and password for when you log in to Windows. So it's going to be the same username and password for logging into LogMeIn. But in my case, I'm going to enter in the computer access code. Okay, so it's going to be connecting and it will take you to this screen. And then simply, if you want to start remote controlling, click on remote control. Okay, so now it will connect. And now I can start remote controlling my computer, essentially from another computer. But like I said, this is just an administration. And so you are currently looking at my first screen. I'm remote controlling my first screen. I'm doing the recording of this video on my second screen because I have dual monitors. And so also when you're with LogMeIn, you can adjust the settings like the screen resolution. You can go to full screen. You can adjust the color quality and all that other great stuff. So that's basically LogMeIn. Very, very neat. So you might be asking, what if I don't want anybody to remote control my computer? at a certain time. Well, you can do this. Go to the bottom right of your taskbar, find the LogMeIn logo, open it up, and it'll tell you this computer is accessible via LogMeIn.com. You can always turn it off by clicking on turn off, clicking on yes, UAC will pop up, just click on yes or continue, and then no one will be able to access your computer without turning it back on again. So. That's how to enable and disable LogMeIn if you don't want anybody to remote control your computer or if you want somebody to remote control your computer by turning it on or off. And that's basically it. That's how to remote control your computer, whether you're doing it for yourself on accessing your files on another computer or if you're wanting to help someone out with LogMeIn, how to remote control your computer. So basically, that's this quick video. And if you have any questions, email me at vince at vincebogner.com. Send me tweets through Twitter at twitter.com slash vincebogner. Save 25% off your next Hover domain by using coupon code Vince by going to hover.com slash Vince or typing in V-I-N-C-E at checkout. Have fun with LogMe. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to email me. And yeah, that's basically it. It's easy and simple to use, and it's free. Thank you very much for watching this. Rate, subscribe, and comment.